Hey guys, welcome to the channel on this beautiful North Carolina day. I've got an interesting one for you today. Uh, behind me, I just built a setup to test this Ranine. So this is a $70, the cheapest water heater I can, or $90, sorry, 89 bucks. The cheapest water heater I can find on Amazon because the water heater in the boat went out and I'm looking for alternatives. So I figured why not test this one? We'll see how it goes. Um, but this water heater, I haven't turned it on yet. I'll show you my setup. Um, this water heater is, uh, like I said, it's like 89 bucks. That's what it lists for me. I'll try to link it in the description, obviously, if it works well. Um, the reviews were terrible. It says it's a constantly returned item and not very warm. So. I guess we're gonna find out. I just want it to, you know, do dishes, have a little bit of hot water. I, I don't take showers in the boat, but if I sell it later and, and somebody wants it, they can. Um, but I've got this hose here running to the hose bib right around the corner. I was gonna put the little RV filter in, but I didn't, whatever. I think we're fine since we're running off the house. Um, don't mind my super cheap, um, super basic, very interesting, setup i i don't make a lot of money on youtube so i don't have money to spend on elaborate setups so everything except for this hose end here i already had in the house so i didn't need anything extra all this was leftovers from random jobs from other things from working on the boat i used hose clamps because i didn't want to use the crimps um, so yeah so this is all can all be taken apart and put back and used, used again but i've already got the water on i've got a um a valve there and then i've got it running off of my we some for some reason we have a power outage right now but either way i was planning to run it off of the predator uh anyway just to protect the whole the house power um i did plug one of those little uh, like dead end plugs that grounds the neutral um because just because um so there's no ground fault and um so this thing says it is 4.5 kilowatts and uh 120 volts 50 60 hertz so that's a 3500 generator it should run on this um i don't see why it wouldn't uh, i did you know just wire it the the yellow green is ground the blue is neutral so that's run to the white and then the bl the brown is the live so that's run to the black i rent this is only a 13 amp um cobalt lowe's hose reel so we will get a, a good reading on this thing, or uh, if, if, there's, if it's too much power, uh, we'll, we'll find out. So the first thing I wanna do is run water through it, just to make sure we got water pressure. And this, this is the um, faucet, that, old, one of the old faucets to our, I think our old RV, we replaced it with one that pulls down. So again, it's just laying around. So let's turn the water on. Oh, that's cool, I like how we can see it. And it's flowed here. Yeah, there's cold, there's fully on hot. So there we go, it's working. Now let's power up this Ranine, 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 let's, let's just call it that. So let's see if we don't die here. Oh, it beeped. Well, that's good. It's hard to read here. It says OF. I think I in the off state. Let me hold it down for five seconds. Uh, it's supposed to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. I can't tell. Probably hard to see there. Yeah. One twenty is as high as it'll go, so I'm gonna run it. Let's see if we can uh, get hot water. This is 82 right now, and it says heat.
It did get warm there for a second. And now I got cold because because I tripped my 13 amp service here. So Let me get another plug, run it directly to the Predator, and give this another shot. All right, well, I changed the setup here. Um, the 110, the 120 volt outlets, I think are only like 15 amps. So I just went to the 30 amp. Um, and this should probably be on a 20 amp breaker, uh, or at least a 15 amp breaker. That other hose reel was only 13 amps. So definitely, Overloaded that, but here we are back again. Tag team back again, right? So let me go ahead and uh, put some water through this. Oh, so it is powering itself back on. So let me go to hot and let's see what we got. So it says 96 degrees on the readout, which is hard to read, and it's warm. And it just powered itself back off again. Yeah. Let me go to cold and just run. Before I turn this back on, I'm gonna run this hose while it's cold. Um, to make sure there's no warm water or until it's cold to make sure there's no warm water in these lines so I'm gonna let that run for a minute and then find out why we're overloading here overload Clearly not happy. All right, again, we are hundred twenty five volts output. We're running to the thirty five um, amp plug. So the water's cold. Let me go to hot. I'll see it immediately knows. 91. And we lost power. So it did get hot. But uh, this thing is just pulling a lot of power. All right then. What do we got going on here? It's overloading my generator. Well, it works and it's warm. It just keeps overloading my generator. And I don't know why. I can't reset the... The only way I can reset it is by turning it off and then back on. So, yeah. Let me turn this down. So I've got to set 100 degrees. So let me try that now. So again, cold water. It's not gonna turn itself on. The water is nice and cold. And then I'm gonna move to hot. This is 78. Generator's on. 
71, 77, 78. It's getting warm. The water's warming up. Definitely warming up. Take a shower. 93. And when it gets to 90 degrees, I lose my predator. Come on. All right, let's try this again. be a way to do that tell me in the comments all right so now I'm going to turn this thing down to <whistles> 90 degrees so when I got above 90 let's go to cold again I've got cold water nice and cold and then I'm gonna to go to hot this should turn on there it turned on we're at 82 87 Sticking constant at 87, 90 degrees. Water's, you know, 90 degrees probably. It's a little cold, not cold, but lukewarm. Generator is, yeah, dying, so. Yeah. All right, let's wrap this up, I guess. All right, guys, it's not necessarily back to the drawing board. I don't remember. I don't remember how many amps. I'll look it up. Maybe I'll put it somewhere in this video. How many amps a tip, the typical uh, RV water heater is. Uh, but I, I want to say that that breaker is only a 30, 20 or 30 amp breaker. Um, but if this thing, if this thing's pulling too many amps, um, you know, I think I have a clamp, amp clamp. Let me, I'll grab that. But if it's pulling too many amps, um, clearly it's just going to pop the breaker. So, um, yeah, it's crazy this little thing pulls that much power. Uh, yeah, a lower power one would be great. I'll research that real quick as well. But, yeah, I'm going to grab my amp clamp, and that's the last thing I'm going to do before I wrap this video up. But I was getting hot water. It, it, it immediately turned warm, got warm, and it was working. It just draws a lot of power for such a little guy so uh yeah let me uh let me grab that amp clamp all right guys last try my amp clamp here uh doesn't do watts so it's, it's pretty worthless for this task at least um i turned it down to 85 um let me run the cold for a second because the sun for the last few minutes probably heated up the water. Make sure it stays cool. My uh, awesome hose clampage does have a small leak, but it's doing all right. Oh, and that junk call. Um, yeah, it's warm from the hose. Let's give that a second. Um, but yeah, we'll see it turning out. So this isn't going to work for my boat. Um, I'm glad I tested it because... Yeah, my boat has like a 20 amp um, service. And some of those, uh, the water heater, yeah, it's like, so the typical RV water heater, it's like on our RV over here, the typical wattage that it pulls is like 1,000 to 1,500. Uh, that's since it's in a tank, because it can take its time. So, uh, you know, you're only gonna be on a 20 amp breaker or a 15 amp breaker for that, for that matter. So it's not gonna be that, um, it's not gonna pull a lot of power. And this Predator, if I had the 4500 Predator, it would probably run it. So if you've got the bigger Predator generator and you wanna set this up outside, if you've got uh, like an outdoor shower at the beach, beach, this probably would work. Um, I just have no way to test it without a 45, 110 volt, 45 amp outlet. Uh, but water's cold-ish. Um, All the heat from the hose and the hot sun have been uh, removed. So let's switch over to hot. See what we get. Yeah. 86, 85, and it died. So yeah, uh, it felt, started to get warm. Yeah, there it is, it was warm. 
Uh, now it's cooled down. So, yeah. Um, so, if you have the power capacity to run that little guy, I think it would work. Um, you know, I, I would have liked to run it and see how hot the unit itself got um, and make sure you could sustain it. But for the most part, it was working until, you know, my generator stopped working. Um, so that's the review. Um, that's the use case, just not mine. Maybe I'll have to look for a little tankless job I'm going to put underneath the, uh, yeah, we'll see, you know, hot water in the boat. Is a thing because the boat, yeah, the one it's it's leaking, so can't use it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you're looking for one of these, yeah, just know that anything over probably 20 kilowatts, well, one tw is is it's not a lot of power to heat up water, so it's probably not going to work very well. But anything over that, uh, anything over 15 watts. 1500 watts so you're gonna have a hard time finding an outlet in your house to plug it into and then higher than that yeah who knows if, if you have a breaker you probably have some breakers that are um, 30 amp or, or so but the you know you're, you're running other big appliances off the ones that are higher than that so uh, and you have to have a heavy heavy gauge wire as well so that's another that's another problem um, is the gauge of wire now, this isn't a very thick extension cord um, I'll try one more test, I'll run it directly to that other powerful extension cord I have there. If that works, it works. I doubt it. Um, I'll jump back in if it does work, uh, but if not, that's it. That's the end of the video, guys. That's the use for that thing. Uh, good luck if, that, if you need it. Um, but, you know, until my generator stopped powering it, it seemed to work okay. So, thanks again. Like, subscribe, do the free things. And I'll catch you on the next one.